Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to get going with the show um, immediately. So just a few little announcements that I make at the beginning of every single show. Um, if you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Three one, You can call in and ask one question or connect with a loved one on the other side. Um, I just need their first name and their relationship to you, and we will try to connect. Second thing, you can join me live on YouTube and join in the chat, and that is actually <laughs> what I was doing, guys. I was so caught up in the questions and answers on YouTube that um, I forgot to, you know, do a few of the things I need to do to get the show started, to actually get it going. I did two clearings on TikTok this morning. One of them was for procrastination, and the other one was for... Um, a fear of abandonment and I think rejection due to trauma. So if you would like to get those healings, you can go to TikTok and that is at Psychic Tony on TikTok and you can listen to those clearings as well as many, many, many other clearings. Okay. Uh, I will never personally reach out to you on any social media, never, ever, ever, ever. Okay, so for everybody here, everybody joining me on uh, YouTube, Blog Talk, on any of the podcasts that I am airing on, or the television, tele TV stations, or streaming stations, <laughs> thank you for joining me here today. Uh, I'm so excited to be here, and I want to thank you for um, the time that you spend with us. I'm going to get started. The first thing I do at the sh beginning of the show is I get names from, the. I get names, and they could be your name. They could be somebody on the other side's name. It could be somebody that you know. And this is just a like a hello from heaven. So the first name I'm getting is... Um, it's actually Miracola. I think I know that. Yeah, I do know that. That's. I think that's a last name, Miracola. And then the next name I'm getting is, uh, these are like last names, Johnson. Maybe Johnson's a first name. I don't know. Johnson. And then the next name I'm getting is Bethany. Bethany. The next name I'm getting is um, Brittany, and then I, I hear that one line from that one song. Um, okay, and then the next name I'm getting is Chelsea, Miranda, Scott, Joseph, And this, I don't think this is a name, but Liverpool. No clue. No clue. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is the songs. This might be a song you loved, they loved, or a song that you always listen to together. Also, the song may be an answer to a question that you have been asking or that you need an answer to. And the first song that I'm hearing is, um, okay, I, it's, it's, um, it's gone, but I'm sure it's going to come back because it keeps coming in and out and in and out and in and out. So the first song that we are getting today is... Give a, give a little bit, give a little bit of your love to me. And then the next song is, oh, halfway there. Living on a prayer. Yep. that's Those are probably not even the right words to that, but thank you very much. 
And then the next song is, um, they're still singing more of Living on a Prayer to me, like Jackie was, I think it's Jackie and Johnny and I don't know. We're going to move on though. We are just moving on from that song. <laughs> okay, next. Next we're hearing, um, I'm hearing that, uh, that, it's, that Italian, Mambo Italiano a song again. Oh, mama. Mom. Oh, I, I can't say the words, but if you know, you know. And then the next song I'm hearing is Again, Rock You Like a Hurricane. I think that has come up a couple of times in the show. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> I know this one always comes up. <laughs> I know it always comes up, and it always makes me laugh. To the window, to the wall. <laughs> and if I have to sing more than that, the song is just not for you. It's not your song. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to do one more song. Um, somebody up there is saying two songs, two songs. Um, the next song is, um, I, I don't know that song. Um, Something with the name Jesse in it. Not Jesse's girl, though. Okay, um, and then the, the last song will be... That song, um, Give a Little Bit, Give a Little Bit of Your Love to Me. Okay, those are the songs. If they were for you, you probably pretty much know them and you're familiar with them, okay? Okay, I'm going to be taking callers now, and if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131, and then push the one button, and I'll be happy to um, answer one question or to help you connect with a loved one on the other side. At the same time, I'll be going back and forth into the chat to answer questions for people in the chat. So if you'd like to ask your question in the chat, I'll be happy to um, answer that question for you, okay? I wanna thank everybody who has liked the show so far on all the social media. When I go back, it always amazes me how many people give me that that like. So thank you so much. I'm gonna to go to 203, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Connie, it's Pat. Hey, Pat, how are you? How are you today? Hi. Um, it's a tough time. Um, I'm wondering uh, if Chance, if I could get Chance comfortable again and keep him going till um, uh, maybe as late as Friday or Saturday. It's time for him, I think. Um, he had a real difficult episode yesterday. I feel like it was my fault. But I want to get him more comfortable and buy him ice cream and, you know, things like that. Okay. <laughs> Spend some better time with him. Okay. Um, I'm trying to stretch it out till Friday or Saturday. Okay. So, love, this is what I'm hearing. Um, don't. Um, and I'm going to explain this, and I... I understand everything you're doing and why you're doing it. And I wish you could feel the goosebumps on the top of my head right now. What I'm picking up, and I could be wrong, is you feel like you didn't do enough and that you want to make it up. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's never enough time. We never have enough time to have right. those last moments. We never have enough time to make up or to let go of the guilt or to think we should have done it better or we did enough for them. And this has nothing where Chance, your your everybody, just in case you don't know, Chance is her fur baby. Um where Chance is right now, they've been kind of letting you know for a little bit of time that this is coming. They've tried to let you gently know, 
that this is coming and yeah. this is the timing. Um, the comfort level is just that there's, there's not a lot you can do and giving chance things okay. like ice cream right now might be, even though a palate wise, that will be very good. Digest the rest of it might not be very yeah. good. Okay. So what they're saying is just my, my, go ahead. I'm Lynn. sorry. My son, my son is going to come down tomorrow. Can we wait till then? I feel like it's not going to happen right now. And I get goose goosebumps on that. I do feel like, however, it is coming sooner than you think. What is today? Today's Monday. Um, well, Tuesday to Wednesday, vet, Thursday. I feel like, I'm sorry. Go I'm ahead, sorry. love. Go ahead. No, you, you go, Tony. No, no, go ahead. The, um, the vet, you know, was ready to take him today. It's too soon for me. Um, my son will come tomorrow probably and support me. He's from an, in another state, which is really kind. Um, or uh, any other day this week. I I am feeling like I need to do it this week. I feel do you like agree with that. I I would agree, and I do feel like I know how hard this is because I had to do it twice with both of my babies and anybody who's had a fur baby has probably had to go through this yeah. and we know how heart wrenching and traumatic it is. I feel like Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but by Thursday, you're going to know it's not good. So here's what I'm going to say. When your son okay. is here and you have that support from your son, do it then. Yeah. And then, yeah. And here's what else they're saying is don't wait till the last minute when your son has to turn around and leave um, because you're going to want that little bit of support afterwards helping to reestablish yeah. your home, meaning moving. I don't it's difficult enough to to have to do this, but then to go home and to oh, God, I'm going to lose it. You guys to go home and have to. Um, yeah. Like pick up, collect everything from our babies and put them someplace is also equally traumatizing for those of us who have had to do that. So um, what I'm hearing is make sure that your son is there to help you to do that and put it in, you know, bags okay. or whatever you need to put it in to store it until a time when you are so ready to maybe go through and keep one or two mementos of this. I still have my dog beds, my dog dishes, my dog toys, my oh, dog's yeah. clothes. I oh, still yeah. have it all just sitting there, not looking at it, not dealing with it yet. That's my level of denial. Um, so I'm going to foster right away. I'm going to foster right away. So everything will be ready for the next desperate dog that needs help. And fostering helps me because it can be soon, but I don't need to make a decision on, you know, adopting a dog. So uh, I, um, but I just want to say what I'm here. It's up to you what you do. I'm not the boss of you at all. I feel like you might want to give it a minimum of a week to a month before you foster, just oh, so sure. you can process okay. your feelings and animals really take yeah. on our emotions. So please process and heal a little bit prior to bringing in another baby that's already been through some trauma. Um, that yeah. is just what I'm hearing. Whatever you decide to do is best I for get, you. Okay, love? I get it. I respect that. Just, just. Oh, so, all right, Tony. Thank you. You are so welcome, love. I hope this was very, very helpful for you. I hope that this brings you some peace yep. and know that you did everything and don't feel guilty, okay? Please don't feel guilty. Okay. Don't feel badly. Thanks. You've done everything and then right. some. Thanks. Okay, love you. Love Thanks. you too, sweetie. And my prayers are with you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Um, yeah, for those of us who have had to put down a pet, that is just, 
Oh, it is devastating. It is so devastating. Okay, I'm going to, hey, Mimi. Um, so we have so many people in the chat today. Thank you so much for being here. Patrick's here, Sal's here. Um, Heather, Frankie, hey, Frankie. Um, Frankie, uh, Pat, Frankie says you're in their prayers also. Fawn is saying uh, you're in her prayers. Um, yeah, that is the most heartbreaking thing in the world. And uh, and we never, because they are fur babies, and they can't tell us. We feel like we have never, ever done enough for them. Um, Sal is saying, I was searching for influencers for the book. I found a girl who has 140,000 followers. Lucky her. Um, she makes TikTok videos for product promotion at very reasonable amount. Is she the right person? She's the right person to watch and pick up as much as you can from. And she will be helpful. Yes, she will be helpful. Don't invest a lot is what I'm hearing. Don't invest like, uh, don't invest a lot, but it will be helpful. I hope that's helpful. I, I really do hope that's helpful. Okay, I truly do, Sal. Oh, I'm going to go to 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, Linda, I'm from New York. Hey, Linda. How can I help you today? Well, I'm trying to throw a party. Or I'm trying to make money from the party. You feel like it will be successful? I, 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 um, so I want to repeat this back to you just so that I completely understand you're trying to throw a party but it's a party that you'll be make you want to make money from and you want to know if it will be successful yes somewhat yes. somewhat you really have to watch the pricing and what you're bringing um it's going to be somewhat successful but it's not going to give you everything you need uh, you're going to have to really look at how much everything you're involving is going to cost before you decide the price of the party. And then you're going to have to up it a little bit and not as many people might be interested. Um, so I feel like it'll be somewhat successful, but I feel like also you need to look at all of the numbers and make it make sense. I hope that makes sense to you, love. I really, I really hope that makes sense to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I do feel like the way that you would promote it would have to be a little bit different than the way you're planning on promoting it, if that makes sense to you. I hope that makes sense to you. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I will say this. I'm just going to put you on mute for a second, but don't go any place because I will say this. If you do want to get into a business doing party planning, like on the side or to start off a party planning business, go to other party planning sites and look at everything that they do and how they do it. And then put your own bougie little self in it. So don't do exactly what they do, make it yours, but look at the way they do it. Um, I do feel like if you started this, um, I hear that song started at the bottom, now we hear, or now we at the top, something like that. Meaning you, where you start off, you will climb quickly as long as you bring the right elements in for the people that are going to be at the party okay and you have to really be very 
uh, picky about that, or they're using the word discerning, but very, um, very, yeah, make sure you're bringing in all the right elements, <clears throat> excuse me, for everybody at the party, okay? I think that's really important for you and for for the guests of the party. And again, um, just managing out the price of everything you're being in, bringing in compared to the price that you're charging and making sure you're having enough people show up. Alrighty, I'm going to go to the next question on, um, on the, um, in the chat and then 286 or not 286, 586 will be the next caller. If you would like to call in, the number is, the number is 845-277-9131. Okay, um, uh, the next question is from Amy. You know what, Amy, that's a private question. Uh, um, well, okay. A friend got in a trial for, uh, I'm going to try to say this, CAR T immunotherapy treatment. Curious, will it put his cancer in remission? Um, that's a really... The treatment isn't the best treatment, is what I'm hearing. There's a... Yeah, you know what, Amy? Um, that is probably... There is something that will be a little bit more effective, but that is not quite going to nail it. And I don't mean to say it like that. It'll be helpful. It'll prolong things, but it's not going to be the the thing that you are or he is or they are hoping it will be. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm sorry to give you that answer. Um, I really am. Okay. Uh, 586, what's your name and where are you calling from? Sherelle, Michigan. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yes, I would just like a message from the other side, please, and thank you. You are welcome. Can you? Can we please start off with a specific person on the other side, just a name and a relationship that kind of gives uh, me permission to get in the energy? Lele. Lele? Lele, my grandmother. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay, instantly. See, as soon as I get that, it's like, you guys, it's like getting permission to be like there and then it pulls them to the front of the line. So mm -hmm. I wanted to, I don't know. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. Lele is here, but then there's a That's younger hard. person here also that is this person passed at a younger age um and it's a female it's definitely a female um like a younger huh. female now remember this is all lineage this could have been back in your grandma's day this could have been during your mom's time you know i don't know when this person it it might not have well, even i don't know i just remember Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just saying that I remember having a, a friend. We grew up together, and she died in a car accident, like we was in kindergarten. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Maybe and her name is Eunice. Okay, and it's funny because as so soon I'm as you sure. said that, I started to get goosebumps. So I'm going to say that might be her. She might just be stopping in to say hi. I don't know for sure, but I did get goosebumps okay. when you said that. Um, it's weird who pops in, right? It's so weird who just will <laughs> pop in. Okay. Um, your grandmother. I love your energy, by the way. You oh have my beautiful gosh. energy, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so calming. You're welcome. So calming and... 
beautiful energy. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, your grandmother. You're welcome. Oh, thanks. Um, your grandmother wants to start <laughs> by saying, um, I don't understand this comment, but you're going to understand it. It's um, get to clipping. Okay. Clipping, C-L-I-P-P-I-N-G. Now, I'm going to give you a few examples. The first thing I think when somebody says clipping okay. is hair. Like, you know, you get the clippers and you clip hair. I don't know. Uh, first, that's the, these are all examples. These are not exacts. This is not, I'm not saying what you mean yeah. by this. The other thing I'm getting is because back in the day, they would, they would, man, they would wait for that Sunday paper and start clipping those coupons. They would be all cutting out the Sunday coupons. So get to clipping. Um, but it could also mean anything from like clipping whatever you would clip nails, lawn. I don't know, but get to clipping. And it, if you don't know what this means now, you're going to know soon enough. OK, the next thing that she would cool want to, and, and there is a, I, I'm going to say this and I'm not going to ask you before I say it, but I am going to say it. If you're not already doing something on your own, your own business, side business, your own whatever it is then I'm going to say there's something coming in and you are going to have such a strong urge to do this. You won't be able to stop yourself. Now, if you have a full-time day job, don't wow. quit your day job. Don't, it, it, no, you know. I actually, I'm, I'm not working at the moment. I just had my daughter in January, so I have not been working, but I am willing to start a business and everything like that. Okay. Okay. So two things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Two things coming through. Um, the first thing is start the business, do the business. Don't, don't use this time wisely. I don't know what it is, though. Um, I don't know what it might be, or I don't have any ideas at the moment. Here's what I tell people, and it's always true. The thing that we love the most the thing that we spend all our time looking at and doing is probably the thing that is supposed to be our business in some way. Um, and whether that is like, let me tell you something. If you love margaritas, then, then maybe it's getting like a portable bar and going and doing events with margarita machines. Well, I believe like, the thing I love is singing, I would say. I enjoy doing the most is singing. Singing. Okay. And then now I'm going to say this. That is a tough, unless you go on your own and you already have songs. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying, oh, okay. Okay. So here's, I know this may not be what you're thinking. Uh, start doing it however you do it. It's going to lead to something. However, there is something else coming in. And you're going to know what it is inside of a month. Inside wow. of a month, you're going to know what it is. And I'm going to say you may start two different things. Like you may have the singing here. And then there's this other thing that's a very tangible business that you start. And I feel like whatever yeah. it is, you're going to be able to do both of them. Like you won't be like doing both of them full on. Like, wow. Like mm -hmm. one of them will be. And what I was thinking about doing not the cut you off is Reiki healing. I was thinking about taking a class of Reiki healing and um, getting a certificate, you know, um, as far as that and healing people, because I feel like that's one of, one of my purposes of being on this earth is healing people through my words or empowerment, something like that. So I believe that Reiki for me would kind of be very beneficial, but I do enjoy singing as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to recommend, yeah. um, I'm going to recommend, 
You can do Reiki if you'd like. I'm going to okay. recommend you look into the reconnect, the reconnection and reconnective healing. Um, I just feel like, and I'm not going to say everything I feel about Reiki on the air because a lot of people do mm -hmm. practice Reiki and they have really good energy. But I feel like right. because so many people offer Reiki, you can get it like from everybody where where you want to be something that you know might be a little bit more um exclusive so i would say look at the reconnection mm -hmm. and reconnective healing and see if that does something if not go for the reiki the other thing is that okay. whatever the whatever the other thing is I feel like it's going to be very, very powerful and very good for you. I do feel like you uh, you are going to do something. Oh, gosh, craziness. Craziness. Thank you, Grandma. Uh, maybe with children's books. So like if you take a song and turn, and I was going to say children's songs earlier, but she, I went to say one thing and children's books was going to fly out of my mouth instead. And I stopped, like I stopped so I could explain it. But okay, so it is, yeah. <laughs> if you take a song and you turn it into a children's book or you take a children's book and you turn it into also a children's song, but there's a, a double thing there and make sure that you're doing the audio version of all the books and songs yourself but children's books along with okay. um but with a very strong powerful musical empowerment message something that will especially as they get a little bit older they can sing it but it's very empowering um Okay, I get what you're saying. Okay, thank goodness, because, whew, <laughs> yeah, it's very... Well, I get what you said, like, very powerful words. As they get older, they can use it in their daily life. Yes, Things in that and will we'll help them to know, like, they can have this life in Who this way and correct. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to let that be there. And I'm yeah. going to say these are the things that, that I'm okay. getting for you. And this is the direction that you could go in. But you have to start now. Don't keep thinking it through. Do it. Just do it. You can always change. What you change. mean by start, start now? Start. What you mean start now? Start, start as far as what you're saying? Yes. Start now. Like, as soon as my show is done, sit down with pen and paper and start. Start writing. Start um, Start writing. Start putting things together. Start doing whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're very helpful. Thank you so much. You are so You welcome. have a great day and a good week. You too, you too. And uh, when they say start now, they mean both sides of it, whether the healing business and the, the singing song book, whatever, how, wherever you take that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just because you start with children's doesn't mean okay. you can't also do adult. Okay. Okay. And I, Thank you. I do not know why uh, I'm not even going to. Okay. I'm going to let it go at that. Thank you so much for calling in. And I look <laughs> forward to next time. Okay, love? Okay. You said I'll let you know the confirmation. So as everything falls into place. I cannot <laughs> wait you. to hear back. You are welcome. You are so, so welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so one of the things I just heard, and I don't know if this is for her or for somebody else listening, but somebody definitely has a very, very naughty novel inside of them that they're supposed to get out and put to paper. So, whoever that is, whomever that is, start getting that naughty novel into print okay okay 630 you're going to be next if you would like to call in the number is 845-277-9131 if you'd like to join us on youtube for the chat ask questions i would love to answer your questions if you do call in and you have a question please do not forget to hit that one so that your hand raises for me um 
So Kim says, hi, Tony. We all love our fur babies. Yes, Kim, we do. Elizabeth says, early in the last show, you said the name Gunthry, but seemed unsure. Did you mean Gunther? If so, is there a message? You know what? It's possible that it is. The names come through and I say them the best that I can, especially if it's not a name I'm extremely familiar with. So, um, Gunther, do you have a, a message for Elizabeth? Uh, yes, it's like a marching song that is being started with, a marching song. Um uh, it's like the Semper Fi song, I think, but it's really old. It's very old. I don't know why that's coming through. And then the next thing is, um, the next thing that I would say is coming through from Gunther is um, to make sure that you are taking the time you need to make the choices that you make, but make the choices. Don't, don't procrastinate, make the choices, you know, make sure they're thought out. They're well thought out, but that you're making them like, don't keep putting it off is what I'm guessing Gunther is saying. Okay. Um, so Diana, you'll be the next question, but I'm going to go to 630. 630, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Uh, this is Lisa from the Midwest. How are you? Excellent, Lisa. How can I help you today? Yeah. 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 So how are you doing, first day? I, I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Good. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of in a dilemma here. So, usually your advice is good. Um, so, something kind of bad happened. Um, I've had, like, in the last three years, four years, three rough weeks, and I can't take it. This is the third. I'm on the top floor of my condo. I actually went into the office. I used to have an office at the home, so I went in, and she just isn't real helpful. And I wanted to like go over this with her a little bit. And I said, you know, this has happened now the third time in four years. I know you won't get a new roof. She goes, yeah, we're not going to get a new roof. If your area is like demon, you know, it just has to be fixed. And, um, you know, that's it. She's like, you know, if the roof's 15 years old, you might have another five or 10 years. I can't live here much longer. I just can't do this anymore. Like I, I would have to go through this maybe every one or two years where you have the roof repaired and then they have to redo the ceiling, like, you know, where they paint it. I mean, how can I do this? Take down everything to have the ceilings done every year or two and always worry about these leaks? I mean, it's happening to me, not to other people. It happened to my neighbor before, but now it's happening to me in my unit. So anyway, so she said that for she's going to have the maintenance guy come out and then the other guy from the roofing company will call later this week. If not, I can check with him. But she said, don't get him mad and call too soon. And so and she's like, and, and if the leak gets worse, it's not that bad. You have two, like a two inch leak, which is circular and another one. If the leaks get real bad, then of course you call sooner. So she's like, well, yeah, we'll take care of it and we'll see what it is and what needs to be done. And she says, I can't wait. It's going to be fixed an hour later. So I don't know. I'm just like so upset from this whole thing. I really, really want to move. I have to have this fixed. I didn't tell her that I'm going to move now. But that's my decision after the third time. I'm definitely going to have to find something if it even means looking further out. So I don't know. Like, you know, what do you think I should do? Just, I mean, I don't want to get them mad. I just wait for the call from the rough by Thursday. And if I don't hear by Thursday, call Friday. And if it, if it leaks more, then just let her know. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for your question. And here's what I'm going to say. Other people's emotions are not your problem if what you're asking is not unreasonable. So right. let me say this. If it's this person's job to do this and you calling them and asking them insights, any kind of anger or upset from them, then maybe that person should have a different job or maybe that person should take oh, some yeah. anger but management. It's not gonna help, but it's not going to help. They're, they've been the manager for years and they're just going to continue on 
So do you think then, like, I'll just, like, call the listing company by Friday if they don't hear back and I'll Okay, listen. First and foremost, first and foremost, I get what you're saying about that. But you're saying you're afraid you're going to make this person mad or upset. Don't. If they get angry by your request and they're the maintenance person, that's not your problem. That's their problem. Don't worry about making them angry. Probably everything makes them angry. And you can't tiptoe around things in life. You just have to put in a gentle request. And whatever their response to that is, is their problem. Not ours, not yours, not mine. The fact that you're living someplace where you are unhappy and afraid or tiptoeing around this situation and don't want to make people angry and don't want to make people upset if you move, that needs to end now. That needs to end now. That what you do with yourself and your autonomy, however other people feel about that, that's not your problem. That's just not your problem. And if you're worried about how other people feel about your choices, you're never going to be able to live your life freely and in the direction that not only you want to, but you are supposed to. I would recommend based on what they are saying to you about the roof and the roof alone, that might be grounds for moving. It's definitely a seller's market. You can get, if you own the condo, you can get a great, you know, probably a pretty good profit right now because there just are no houses or condos available. Um, if you don't, just find someplace else to live. Just find someplace that will make you happy. Life is too short to spend around people that might get angry based on your human right choices to have something fixed or to move. It's, it's just too short for that kind of shenanigans and that kind of malarkey. It's time to, you know, find a place where you can feel comfortable and make the choices and do the things that you just want to do. Okay, that is all I can say about that. I hope that is helpful. Um, and again, I'm not the boss of anybody, okay? I am not the boss of anybody. Whatever you decide to do is going to be what's best for you. 954, you're going to be the next caller, but I'm going to go to Diana's question. Uh, Diana from Houston, Texas, do you see me and my sister Maria reconciling in the near future? Um Mm, you and your sister I think the way I'm going to say this is you need to have a conversation I think this goes deeper than the last thing that happened and I feel like the conversation can't just be about the last thing that happened it needs to be about the way you two communicate or treat each other, like one of you may not be as gentle in their personality as the other person is what I'm getting here. And I think that needs to be gently addressed also. Uh, it can't be that sort of thing where you go at somebody and you say, you're always you know, so mean. <laughs> Nobody likes to be called mean. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. And so you may have to just have this uh, just conversation about the way things are delivered. I don't know. That's what just what I'm feeling there, Diana. I do hope that you do. Let's do a clearing for um, let's do a clearing for um, healthy, loving relationships. I get a no. Let's clear that now. Clear it into the void. There we go. Um, I'm going to go to 954. Whoops. 954, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Oh, hi, this is Lucy. My question is, do you have any insight for my art, my artistic career? Okay, Lucy, uh, thank you for the question. And what I, what I the one thing that I'm hearing is keep going. You already know the direction to take this in and you should follow your instincts or those little, like when you think I should do this, do it, follow that all the time, whatever instinct that you're getting, keep following it. It's gonna take you in the right direction and lead you to the right places and or people. But whatever you're doing with your art career, keep doing it. It's going to be, um, it's going to be good. Financially or, successful. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are using the word successful. They're saying good, successful. Um, it won't, it might go a little bit slower than you want it to, doesn't everything. Um, and you, it might be a little bit cyclical <laughs> where one, one, one moment you feel like, oh, finally it's all taking off. And then it kind of, uh, uh, slows down a bit. Don't let that, don't let that, um, dissuade you in any way. Just know that that's just part of it, the up and down of it. Um, and mm -hmm. just allow yourself to go with the flow of it and keep, uh, keep working in the way that you're working and it will be very good for you. Okay. Whew. And that's what they're saying. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, thank you so very much. So is, um, I've been doing it for a long time. So continue. <laughs> well, they are saying keep it going. So as long as it's still a passion for you and that you are still, it is. then do it. I love it. Yeah. Then d don't even think twice about okay. it. Just continue on with it because that is going to be you know, as long as we love something and we have passion for it, that's what I makes love it. it. I yeah. love it. I know I'm on the right path. I just want to know financially. Yeah, you know, and I'm going to say this also. Um, I think for a lot of people right now in any industry, the financial end of it might be a little bit tighter than they want it to be. So just, you know, have something else that is also helping financially, but stick with your passion. Okay. Okay. Honey. Thanks so much. Have a you, great day. You too. Thank you so much for calling in. And I am going to go to the next question on line. Um, uh, thank you, Amy. Um, Thank you, Maris. Have a good week, you also. And then, uh, okay, Elizabeth confirmed. She said he was in the, or he's in the Marines now. So Semper Fi, that song Semper Fi makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go just to Zay Lee because I feel like I can't remember, but I feel like Zay Lee always gets to me at the end of the show, and then I never have time to answer her question, but Zaylee, let's see what we can do for you right now. Um, should I apply for a new job? If so, should I look for hospital or long-term care nursing, nursing home jobs? Okay, I always say, Always keep your eyes open for the next opportunity. And if you're asking, you might not be completely happy with where you are and what you're doing. Um, hospital or long-term health care? I hear long-term health care would be really powerful for you, Zaylee, that there would be an opportunity. And even... It, I don't know if this is what you're looking for, but the first thing I hear is administrative so that maybe eventually you could go from into administrative or there will be something administrative if that's what you're, I just hear administrative daily. So I hope that's helpful for you. And yes, definitely look around at long-term healthcare and there is going to be something that uh, will be available. Even if it's not available right now, don't quit your job you have now, but keep looking until this pops up. And 
Okay, if you're not looking for administrative, keep your eye open if that's something you're open to. But also, eventually, if you take this long-term healthcare thing, eventually it could lead to something administrative if you're, if that's what you want, if that's what you're thinking. Okay, um, I'm going to take one more. Hey, you guys, did I do 860? I feel like I did. Uh, I feel like I did 860. Let's find out. 860, what's your name and where are you Hello? Coming? Hi there. Hi, Tony. No, you, I called and then I had to hang up, so I called back. <laughs> Excellent. Well, how can I help you, love? Um, yeah, so I'm going to a fire ceremony. Um, I just was wondering, do you feel me meeting like, like-minded people, my soul tribe there? How's that going to go? Yeah, I feel like you're going to meet some really cool people there. I feel like it will be, a very, I'm hearing the word enchanting. It will be an enchanting evening. Um, I feel like you'll meet people um that are very open to communication and um, friendship while they're there. Now, you know, sometimes when we go to these things, we have the greatest conversations and we meet like-minded people and then we all walk away and go back to our normal lives. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm getting yeah. that message. Just don't have a lot of expectation. Um, I do feel like it will be a very enchanting or very good um, and special event. I do feel like you will enjoy it a great deal. And there will be people there that you really enjoy talking with and having communication with. I hope that makes sense to you. Yes, it does. I'm excited. Thank you so very much. You are so welcome. And I do feel like that. Okay. Is this a, I want to ask your voice sounds just like hers. Um, who is, what's your name, love? What was that? What, what's your name, love? Uh, Amla. Oh, Amla. That's what I thought. I was like, God, this sounds just like Amla. Amla, I want to say to you that at either this event or the next event you go to, there's the potential. Yeah. I don't even, you know, they're making me say this, but I'm like, ah, I don't want to get our hopes up and say it. Um, there's the potential to meet um, a couple of men, but mostly for okay. friendship, but, but one of them might have the potential to go a little bit further, but they're saying like, have no, absolutely no expectation in order for this to proceed. Like, don't, don't have that future thoughts. Just take it day by day by day yeah. with no future thoughts or planning. Yeah. Um, and that is going to be the best like the best way for you to handle it or the best way for it to develop for you. And the other thing that I'm getting for you, Amla, is some of the people you're going to meet there, you're going to think there was such a good, a good, strong connection, but then, yeah. but then like it falls off. The, the connection was real. It's just that when people leave and they go back to their like normal lives, then that, yeah. Yeah. So, but there's a couple of events that you should be doing over, over the summer and into the fall. And you're going to meet some pretty decent people and like-minded people. And one of them has the potential to be a little bit more. You just have to um, let the man be the man is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. Does that yeah. make sense, love? Yep. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm excited. I'm really excited. This this fire ceremony, I'm really going for me. Today's the new moon. I'm doing all these intentions and writing them down. And it, 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 I'm just so excited. Just to, It's me time. You know, it's me to be re rebirthed again, reborn again. I love so, that. Like, I'm just excited for the, the ceremony itself. We're having cacao and drumming. And it's good. Good stuff. I'm excited for it. But yes, Live in the moment. Don't have any expectations. 
one moment at a time. There you go. Yes, Got absolutely. It. And I feel like it is going to be very powerful for you. You're really going to enjoy it. Okay, love? Yes. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. And I hope you have an amazing time at the ceremony. Okay, you guys. Yes, there, today is the new moon and some people do um, with every new moon, they put their intentions of what they want to grow through from now until the full moon. Um, and if you want to do that, please, by all means, do that. That's just another way to manifest or pray or um, bring in your to really focus in and focus on and bring in what you want. Now, if you're a person that pays attention, attention to the planets and where they are and what they're doing right now, Venus is about to go retrograde and the planets like half of the it's my understanding. I really don't know a lot about astrology, but half of the solar system is retrograde, which whatever. All I know is that it can be a very difficult time for friends, friendships, relationships of all sorts. So please be gentle with your words. Be mindful of what you say to people. But this is also a time, from what I understand about astrology, which is very little, I will admit, this is also a time when if something's supposed to end, it just might end. It's taking out what no longer works for you, what no longer serves you, so that what will serve you, what is what you want, what, what will work in your life moving forward can come in. Okay? Um, Having said that, having said all of that, I hope that's helpful for everybody. I really do. I want to say uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me here today. I'm so grateful. I will be back Wednesday at noon and then Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central. I'm doing a show with Marla and we'll be taking callers then also. So all the people who don't get to really join during the day because they're working, I'm going to do a Thursday evening show. Marla and I are, we'll be answering your questions and uh, trying to help you in whatever way that we can. I am going, I am thinking about right now transitioning. I'm going to keep my Monday at noon show, but transition my Wednesday at noon show to Wednesday at 8 p.m. so that I can get um, both groups of people and keep two shows and have that be. And then every once in a while, pop in with a guest on a different night. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, how you feel about it, if you think that like, will work for you, if you'll also be able to join those shows. Again, thank you all so much for joining me here today. I am so grateful for every moment you spend with me because really the only true currency 90 seconds. Plane is time and energy and frequency. So the frequency you bring to the table is also the energy and then the time that you spend on it because we can't get back time. Once you spend time with something, someone or on something, we don't get to get that back. So make sure you're spending your time on things you really care about and really want to be with. And your frequency seconds. or your energy may be the determiner of how that time goes, how you feel during those experiences. So always make sure your energy is high and that your frequency is strong and high. Thank you again. I will see you Wednesday at noon central. Mm -hmm.